Item number SCP-6255, Security Level 2. Containment Class Safe, Disruption Class Dark, Risk Class Caution. Special Containment Procedures. All printed or finished physical documents contained within Site-94 are to be coated with a plastic sheet in order to protect them from scp 6255 ones effects. While the writing of archives and files is solely allowed via terminal. Due to the environment SCP-6255 events happening, SCP-6255 is currently self-contained. Description SCP-6255 is a designation given to a phenomenon that occurs within the boundaries of Site-94. SCP-6255 is believed to happen at least two times a week. Although the estimated amount of weekly SCP-6255 events is currently unknown, SCP-6255's anomalous properties consist in the manifestation of an SCP-6255-1 instance in a random location within Site-94. SCP-6255-1 instances take the form of frozen coffee cups containing different liquids, usually hot liquids or fluid that create stains, and a pair of legs underneath them. Following the execution of an SCP-6255 event, SCP-6255-1 instances will attempt to reach the closest personnel, incline and pour their liquid onto their clothes or any object said personnel is carrying. Usually, paper-made archives of contained anomalies, logs, or classified information. Before displaying a crudely painted message on itself, this message may vary depending on the context of the event. Once an SCP-6255-1 instance has completed its task, it will demanifest as soon as possible. As of the time of writing, 143 SCP-6255 events have been reported by the surveillance since its appearance on July 29th, 2021. Addendum The next addendum is a non-comprehensive log including several SCP-6255 events recorded during the month of September 2021. All recordings were stored in Site-94 surveillance room. Surveillance Log 6255-1 Infirmary Event During an analysis of Dr. Maya Warren's vitals following her death, an SCP-6255-1 instance spawned in Site-94 sick bay and poured its liquids, fresh water, on Dr. Albert White's phone, who was at the moment browsing images and internet memes. Result the SCP-6255-1 instance displayed the message, Respect for the Dead, before jumping inside Dr. White's lab coat and demanifesting. Surveillance Log 6255-2 Cafeteria Event Janitor Savannah Santos entered Site-94's cafeteria and ordered a cold coffee at the cafe's machine. But before she could grab a plastic cup, an SCP-6255-1 instance manifested, filled itself with hot coffee, and jumped onto Ginger Santos' suit. Result: The SCP-6255-1 instance fell to the floor, and instead of shattering, it displayed the following message before demanifesting: "Disgusting." Surveillance Dog 6255-3 Workbench Event. Junior researcher Michaels was using a typewriter to work on the official classification of an anomaly that recently arrived at Site-94. Soon after, an SCP-6255-1 instance manifested in Dr. Michaels' lab coat and jumped onto the workbench before pouring its liquids over the unfinished document. Result the SCP-6255-1 instance displayed the following message before nodding with its body and manifesting. Put a bit of art, James. Researcher Michaels later stated that the file he was working with was excessively collegial. Discovery SCP-6255 came to the Foundation's attention on July 29, 2021.
2021, soon after an SCP-6255-1 incident manifested in junior researcher Joseph Faraday's workbench in Portage Liquid. Note, hot coffee. On to the document researcher Faraday was working with. Following the SCP-6255 event, the SCP-6255 instance spawned a note from within its interior before demanifesting. Roses are red, violets are blue. If paper is white, then odds what you can do. Are we cool yet? Junior researcher Joseph Faraday hasn't been affected by an SCP-6255 event since the anomaly's discovery.